Hi, John here. In this video, I'll talk about why you should model your Facebook ads based on your competition. I mean, if they are successful. When I say model, I don't mean really copy, right? I mean model. And by modeling, I mean, let's say that you are starting in a market or you're starting in, you know, like, let's say e-commerce and you have a product. The product is like a very similar, you know, to other products. Let's say that you are selling pet food, right? Like food for dogs. What you should do is that you should do a market research, right? Because every time when we, for example, start working with like some client or launch our own new product, then we do a huge competition, you know, research, right? So we always check like bigger players, right? That, or like uh, other small e-commerce stores that are successful making money then have tons of customers and then we check like what actually they are offering to people, how the ads looks like, what are their angles that really work best on ads. And we try to understand different, you know, like uh, parts of it, right? Let's say that you are almost focusing on ads, right? Analyzing them as like you are like a watchmaker, like a clockmaker. And you are trying to understand like each wheel and each gear, like it works together, right? And kind of like understand each of them and purpose of each of them, right? This is basically what means modeling, right? You are not just like blindly copying other people's shit because sometimes you can copy stupid things, but you are trying to understand what exactly is really happening, you know, between lines, right? Like, like deeply. And that itself will kind of like give you, even when, for example, you are doing that uh, competition analysis, what really these people are go doing, like why they are going after this specific, like a, uh, market or targeting these people or using this specific like emotional angle in ads or for example creating videos in like a specific way right because you will basically learn what they already paid for it right how people actually react on ads how people behave what makes them tick right what is like emotionally hitting them and really like uh, making them move making them act right so every time when you are launching something even doesn't matter if if you already think that you are really like a best, you're like a, a huge beast in your market, I would still do that competitor research and see like what exactly people are using, you know, in my market on very like similar, you know, products and then try to model them, right? Because you should always like test things, right? Even when you find like a perfect ad, right? And you create a perfect landing page and you have a perfect product and it sells. So you should always try to test things, you know, to make your ads even better, right? And make your landing pages convert even better. And always try to like strive for that uh, perfection almost, right? I know that people say like, oh yeah, you should not like make things perfect, but you should totally make things perfect, right? Especially when you are already running money to some, you know, like a uh, Facebook ads and it's already producing you profit, then you should really like try to create perfect thing, right? Perfect video, perfect ad, perfect landing page and try to perfect everything, you know, to the point that you are just making way more money than other people and your ads are converting way better than other people. So definitely like uh, be crazy and be perfect, but definitely do not copy because you will most likely copy something that you will have no idea why these people actually come up to that, right? Because usually even when, even when I check ads by, right? And uh, I see that so many people are using my ads, right? Like, since 2017, like there's like so many of my ads and people are stealing from me everything, right? They're like my lines, my headlines, like I seen like so many dropshipping and e-commerce ads with like exactly structure of, of, of my own ads, right? Like literally, like, it's like obvious they took it from me. I think that those people, they have no idea why I, for example, use this line together with that line and that line, you know, and then I use this headline, right? And why it works all together. So that's why you need to understand like, like deeply why these people are using each lines and each parts of ads and like why they are having this, you know, like information on a landing page. You need to understand why it's all mixed together and what it actually does, you know, to those results. So thank you very much for watching this video. And if you like my content and would like to see more of my videos, definitely subscribe to my channel and hit the little button. And if you still download my free ebook, which is still free, Facebook at Lounge Guide for e-commerce, definitely download it because I literally wrote it for e-commerce owners who either start, right? And you would like to know how to not actually burn money and scale losses. like. You will find there how we actually scale right, profitably from zero, 
$50,000 per day in ad spend and like step by step, what kind of like rules we use to stop ads that they are not working, right? So you know actually when to stop what, like and how to create these rules individually based on product, you know, which have different prices, right? Different costs. And for example, if you are already working with Facebook agency and you would like to know if these guys are actually doing a great job and like increasing your profit, right? And not really like holding you down, then definitely download book as well because you will be able to understand if they are doing a great job or slacking actually. So definitely download that and thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in my tomorrow one. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.